Hello guys, how you doing? This is Leo Fonseca and I wanted to make this quick video uh, because I know a lot of you guys, just like myself, uh, have been having a lot of issues connecting your Apollos uh, to, the, uh, to, the, uh, to the computer. The universal audio software is not connecting uh, to the computer. I'm going to give you guys a quick fix for all of you guys that uh, want to just go ahead and uh, work. Uh, right away because you have a client or whatever. This is a really quick fix that it's going to work Okay, but you need to come back later on and obviously if you want to fix it uh, per Permanently then you're gonna have to watch the whole second part of this video. Okay, so uh, very simple I'm gonna get to it go ahead and uh, grab a new terminal and then you're going to copy and paste uh, the little code that I'm gonna go ahead and uh, leave in the description go ahead and do so Okay enter it here press uh it's gonna ask you for your uh your password go ahead and enter your password when you're entering your password you're not gonna see it but go ahead and enter it then press return or enter okay right after here and it's going to connect now your meter is gonna turn blue that means that you're connected okay to your computer this is a quick fix okay go ahead and do so if you want to go ahead and work right now um, but remember, come back and watch the second part of this video because I'm gonna I'm gonna show you, uh, and it's gonna work. Uh, but every time that you turn off uh, your computer and you turn it back on again, you're gonna have to, you know, do the same thing. You're gonna have to get another terminal, copy and paste the, you know, uh, the little code, and then do all that. All right. So now I'm gonna show you uh, how I fixed it. But it's very important that I address the issue first, okay? So as you guys already know, uh, Apple continues to make this, you know, non-stop updates for their, you know, systems, right? For the Mac OS. Um, what I did, and I noticed it, if you guys don't know this, uh, I went to software update, okay? And I saw that my Mac uh, had updated uh, automatically because this little square, had a check mark okay and so now i'm in in the 11.4 so it's an update with you know within big sur right they do that all the time uh and so you have to uncheck that because that means that no matter what it's going to do it even if you're working it's going to go ahead and install it automatically you don't want that because then you're going to have the same issues so go ahead and do that What's next is uh, you're going to go ahead and uh, go to applications, okay? And then you're gonna go ahead and uninstall. Go to the uh, Universal Audio uh, folder. You gotta uninstall the whole thing, okay? After you uninstall this, you're gonna go ahead and uh, you know click anywhere out of the screen right here. Sh press Shift, hold it, obviously. Shift, Command, G. And then you're going to add this uh, also right here, this uh, this library and preferences here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, copy it um, on the description as well. That way you guys could just grab it there, copy and paste it here. Right after that, you press go, right? And it's going to take you to the preferences. So you're going to go ahead and delete all the splits, you know, anything that has to do with Universal Audio. It's going to, you're going to see the console, Luna, uh, mix mixer in, engine you're gonna see the meter and then all this anything that has to do with universal audio uh, go ahead and, and uh, erase it then you go down a little more and you're gonna see the universal audio folder erase that as well you're gonna have to erase the whole thing okay so just throw it to the trash erase it okay go ahead and do that right after that go ahead and uh, and uh, restart your computer okay make sure that it's everything is you know erased from your computer go ahead and do that um, after this go ahead and go into the universal audio uh, you're gonna go ahead and install the universal audio uh, 13 the version 9.13.1 this is an older version okay but it's key I don't know what that one has that the other ones don't have because I even tried the 13.0 and the 12.2 and it didn't work. So I did 13.1, I installed it, right? And then right after I installed the, the, the system, it was asking me that I needed to give permission, right, for Universal Audio to connect to 
of the computer. Now it didn't do it. It was still showing that uh, that the um, uh, the software was not installed correctly. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Go ahead and grab the terminal once again, just like I showed you guys earlier. Copy and paste that uh, the little code and then go ahead and put your uh, password and now you're gonna see that it's going to connect okay now make sure that you do also uninstall uh, uninstall the uh, Luna version okay uninstall everything after you uninstall that uh, everything you reinstall this 13.1 version and it's connected now because you're gonna you're gonna see your meter that it is uh, connected uh, go ahead and Come here once again and um, go to the downloads uh, page, okay? And right there, go ahead and uh, download um, uh, Luna, okay? The newest version of Luna. Go ahead and do so, okay? Once you install it, Luna does not require for you to restart the computer, but it's going to say that Luna cannot run without the newest version of the UAD software go ahead and close Luna and then come back to this page and then download the newest version of the software okay for the for Big Sur go ahead and download it okay right after you actually install that now it's going to show you at the end of that install that you do need to give permission right to um, uh, to Universal Audio so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and go to systems, uh, system preferences, okay? You go to security privacy, and the number one thing that you're gonna see right here is going to say universal audio, okay? So go ahead and uh, open up, you know, uh, unlock it, give it permission, right? And then you're gonna see that it will connect. It's gonna require for you to actually restart uh, the computer once again after this i saw and and that's when i saw that the problem was fixed because i didn't required uh i wasn't required to put the the little terminal code anymore and so i was a little afraid and then i actually restarted my computer a couple of times and yeah it did work okay just to let you guys know it did work the same information i gave it to my friends a couple of friends and it worked for them as well if it doesn't go ahead and uh, leave me a comment contact me I'm gonna leave also all my social media you could go ahead and uh, message me through there and then uh, we can probably you know I could probably help you I'm no expert but I could probably help you um, find a solution for you now again this is what worked for me I hope that this does help you because I know a lot of you have been suffering just like myself trying to solve this issue and I even contacted uh, contacted a uh, universal audio and they gave me this list of things that I needed to do and it didn't work okay it didn't work so uh, I don't want to discredit discredit them by trying I you know I thank them but you know it, it just didn't work so hopefully they get to it and the, and, and uh, they find a solution for this for all of us okay so uh, again if you have any questions go ahead and uh, um, contact me or leave a comment I'll be more than happy to to assist again it worked for me if you have any questions hope you like this video if it helped you go ahead and uh, go ahead and give it a thumbs up you know like the like the video if you didn't like it also like the video and share it <laughs> um, so other people can actually get this information and, and again if you have any questions give me you know go ahead and uh, contact me directly uh, thank you very much guys hopefully this helps and uh, we'll see you on the next later dudes.